हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल टू पॉलिश सी एस सी कंसेप्ट विद मी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज ए पर्सनल प्रॉब्लम इन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट दिस एट पर्सनल प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली इज हाउ टू सॉल्व एट पर्सनल एंड हेयर वी आर टॉकिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सो वी विल सी द होल प्रोसीजर दैट हाउ एनी सिस्टम और एजेंट इज गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम Fine. Now, uh, first of all, let's see what this eight puzzle problem actually is. This eight puzzle problem will consist of eight numbers, movable tiles set in a three cross three frame. That means one three cross three frame will be there like this. Three cross three frame will be there. Fine. It will consist of eight numbers. See, three cross three frame is there. That means we are having nine boxes. But out of nine boxes, eight numbers will be present, and one box will be empty. Fine. It consists of eight numbers, movable tiles set in a three cross three frame. One cell of the frame is always empty, making it possible to move an adjacent numbered tile into the empty cell. The goal is to arrange the blocks so that they are in order. So what is told here? Like this, any three cross three, ah, uh, three cross three frame will be there with us. Inside this frame, any eight numbers will be present. So let me take one uh, example. Eight numbers will be present, and one box will be empty. So we have to arrange it randomly. One, two, three. Okay, let's arrange it randomly. One, two, three. Let's leave this as blank. Then four, ah, uh, six, seven, five, eight, like that. We have randomly arranged any eight numbers in this. One of the boxes in this frame is empty. Now what we need to do is we have to rearrange the numbers step by step such that we will get the goal is to rearrange the blocks so that they are in order. Now it is possible that see this is for example let me take this as my initial state or start state. Fine. So one start state will be there. We have to arrange it in order. Rearrange the blocks so that. they are in order in order means 1 to 8 will be in order either we have to do it directly in order or the goal state will be already given to us so what will be the goal state here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and the last one will be empty fine so this is the goal state in the arranged form in the ordered form and this is the initial state so in eight puzzle problem what we want is we have to go on arrange or switch the blank state and the numbers in such a way that at the end we should get this goal state this is our aim fine so now there are uh, two ways to solve this eight puzzle problem the two ways are with heuristic with heuristic method and without heuristic getting there are two main methods how we can solve this eight puzzle problem that is with heuristic and without heuristic now in this particular video we are going to see without heuristic first fine so we are going to see in this video that how to solve this eight puzzle problem without heuristic now what do we mean by you uh, mean by this without heuristic without heuristic means we are going to apply brute force method you can either call it brute force method or blind search or uninformed search the meaning remains the same that in this we don't have any particular method or any particular formula what we are going to do here is we will be exploring each and every possibility one by one and whenever we are getting our goal state we will stop there it is that simple fine so Uh, brute force method as we know what is brute force method try and error method so in this eight puzzle problem without heuristic what we are going to do is we will explore each and every possibility till we get the goal state now let's see how to do that now yes remember one more thing that in this eight puzzle problem without heuristic we will be applying breadth first search you must be knowing the difference between best breadth first search and uh, depth first search what happens in breadth first search as the name itself indicates we are exploring breadth by breadth that means what we will explore the tree level by level so in short we will start with our start state we will go on exploring one by one level until we get our goal state 
so how to do it let's see with this same example for example this is my uh, start state so i'm starting with my start state that consists of 1 2 3 4 6 Seven, five, eight. Fine. This is my start state. Now, what I will do at every step, I will try to um, shift this blank space. Always remember that there are four things that I can do. I can either move left or right or up or down. These are the rules that I can move this blank space either in the left hand side or right hand side or up or down. I cannot move them diagonally. moving them diagonally is not possible fine so only possibility is either to move them left right up or down so if i talk about this blank space what are the possibilities the possibilities are i can move it right or left or uh, sorry i can move it right or up or down i cannot move it left because there is no space at the left so there are only three possibilities because it is we are doing without heuristic that means brute force so we will be exploring each and every possibility so here there are three main possibilities that is either moving it right or up or down so let's quickly see how to do that so as i told we will be doing bfs breadth first search that means level by level so this is the level 0 you can say and this is the level 1 so we will do it level by level we are going or we are proceeding fine now here here what i need to do is i have to move this blank space towards the right side now towards the right side if i move it four will come here and others will remain as it is 6 7 5 8 here i want to move it up so one will come down and others will be as it is i hope you are understanding it is very easy fine here i am moving this blank space down so seven will come here and others will be as it is okay fine so these are the three possibilities now again if i talk about this here the blank space is at the middle so i can either move it left right up down anything so here there will be i will get four possibilities here i will get four possibilities left right up down all the possibilities can be explored here so if i move this at left so 4 will come here 1 2 3 6 7 5 8 right i will move this at right so 6 will come in the middle 1 2 3 4 7 5 8 up so 2 will come down if i move it as up so 2 will come down yes so 1 3 4 6 7 5 down so this will come down 5 will come in the middle 1 2 3 4 6 7 uh, 8 fine now if i talk about this i can move it there are two possibilities either i can move it right or down so from here we will be having two possibilities right and down so again you will get two possibilities now if i talk about here here i have two possibilities up or right so from here also you can make two up or right up or right so i'm not exploring them you can explore that also actually you have to explore we have to go level by level but here see here i can see directly from here after exploring this this level is also completed level 2 now i have to come to level 3 Now what happens in level three? Here I can see clearly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So everything is arranged. The only thing is I need to move eight here. So I can very easily see that here will there are two possibilities. Either I can move. There are three possibilities actually. That either I can move it right, left, or up. Right, left, or up. But I can clearly see that if I move this as right and eight will come here, then I will get my goal state. So after exploring this right part what i will get is this will be moved here so 8 1 2 3 others numbers will be as it is so this is my goal state so as soon as you will get the goal state there is no need to move or 
uh, solve further. So I, after reaching the goal state, I'm not exploring either the nodes of the same level or obviously I'm not going to go to the next level. So in the level 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2 and 3. In the level 3, I am getting my goal state here. Fine. So like this, you have to solve it level by level until you are getting your goal state. It is that simple. You just have to... Uh, so how the system or the agent will do system or the agent in this uh, without heuristic search will do like this only it will be exploring all the possibilities simultaneously like left right up down wherever the blank space can be moved it will move accordingly and level by level after checking level by level wherever it will get the goal state it will stop there immediately now if i talk about this method or whatever we have solved here uh, there are mainly two things. The first thing is this will always give you the optimal solution. That means this method ensures you that you will always get the correct answer with the help of this method. But the disadvantage is it will take lot of time. The complexity here is B raised to D where B is the branching factor and D is the depth of the tree. That means we don't know that up to which depth or up to which level we have to solve so the system may take a lot of time to solve this no doubt it is going to give you the answer but it is taking a lot of time so in order to get the answer in less time or in order to improve the time complexity what we are doing is we are going to the next method that is solving this eight puzzle problem with heuristic so in order to have the efficient in order to increase the efficiency of time, we are going with a puzzle problem with heuristic. So I hope you have understood this method without heuristic. You have understood the steps that we need to follow. So if you found the video helpful, please share it with your friends and subscribe the channel. And in case you have any doubt, you can always ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.